Morning guys, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School, back with another video in the series of the 21st Century Long Hunter. I'm going to regress for a minute back to our shotgun loading videos uh, for the single shot 12 gauge H&R modified choke. What I've got here is I've got a box of brass shotgun shells from Magtech, and these came from Midway USA. They were fairly cheap, probably 25 bucks for the box, and there's 20, 24 shells in here I believe. Um, high brass is kind of hard to find and you can reload that brass until your casing wears out until your plastic wears out or your brass wears out but if you get a box of these shotgun shells that are solid brass and what these are is they're a two and three quarter inch solid brass shotgun shell that's used for like western shooting and things like that for cowboy and western action shooting but they fit in this 12 gauge just perfect the only problem with these is they come with a primer pocket that's set up for a large pistol primer Large pistol primers, number one, are harder to seat in the field than a regular 209 primer. Number two, they're about twice or three times the money of a 209 shotgun primer. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify this to fit a 209 shotgun primer. We're going to load one of these up in the field right here. We're going to seal it with tallow instead of beeswax, which is something you could have a lot of in the field potentially if you killed a deer. And we're going to shoot this bad boy to tin can out of a 12 gauge and show you how she works. These should be reusable for a long, long time. 24 of these shells should last you, you know, almost indefinitely okay guys so the first thing we have to do before we can load this shell up is we have to modify these shells to accept the 209 shotgun primer from the primer that they originally come with and you can see what I've done with this one I'll show it to you up close I've already drilled this one out and shot it a couple of times that's why it's all blackened up the good thing about brass is it's just going to corrode on you it's not going to rust up and it's not going to break up like the plastic shotgun shells are going to do over time so what we've got to do is we've got to take this large pistol primer pocket and we've got to drill it out so it will accept the 209 shotgun primer and what I suggest you do is get you a set of drill bits and just kind of feed one through one of your shotgun shells until you find the one that slides through the way it's supposed to you can chamfer the edge of that thing a little bit so the primer seats all the way down in there I did not do that I just drilled out a straight hole in it I believe this is a 1560 force drill bit on this drill and all I did was just grab the hold of it stuck it in dead center and drilled it out And then when I got it drilled out, I just kind of wobbled it a little bit just to make sure it was a good clean hole. But I don't want to oversize it or it's not going to seat properly. Once I've done that, I've got this thing set up now to where it will take a 209 shotgun primer. It's a pretty simple process. Now, the one thing that's a little bit more difficult with this than with the other shotgun shells is it's a little harder to seat the primer in there real easy. Um, you're almost going to have to use the tool to seat that primer or you're going to have to bang something on top of the shell. You can't just push it in with your finger and it's going to seat because that hole is not going to accept that primer that easily. All right, Probably because of the chamfer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a new primer in this shell. I've got a box of 209 shotgun primers here. And we're going to do this very similar to what we've done in every other video in this series. And we're going to load this shotgun shell the same way, except we're going to seal it with tallow this time instead of beeswax. Jeremy, if you can make sure that towel is still melted down for me over there, I'd appreciate it, brother. Okay, so we've got our two tools here that we need to use for depriming and repriming our shell. And that is basically just this round magnet that we've been using and this quarter inch screwdriver. And then we need some type of baton or our axe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead push this primer with my hand as far as I think it will seat and make sure it's good and squared up in the hole just like that Whoop, didn't quite go in there I might have to chamfer that out just a little bit by hand there we go now it's in there good okay now what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna put that on a flat surface so we're gonna use this piece of magnet we're just gonna set it right on top of that piece of magnet and then I would just take a flat piece of wood like this to use as type, uh, type of anvil and get my axe. Problem is I'm left-handed so I have to do things bass backwards all the time. And just tap that dude home on that flat piece of metal like that. 
and now we've got it seated in there. Now if I chamfered that, it would probably seat just a little bit better, but it's definitely good enough. There's no question about it. I've already shot two or three of these, and it is in there seated good. It's not coming out, that's for sure. All right, so now we're back to the point where all we have to do is reload our shell in the normal sequence. First our powder, then our patch, and then our load, and then we're going to seal it with tallow. So I'll be right back with you in just a second when I get ready to seal it up. I don't need to show the process of reloading the shell. You guys have seen that in a couple videos already. Okay, so we've got our shell loaded up now. We've got our load in there. We've got about 42 to 50 BBs in there, the same measurement as our powder. And we've got a just an old tin can here. It's got melted tallow in it that we've been melting over the fire. And this is what I'm going to use to seal this round with. And basically, I'm just going to pour it in. right to the top of the shell or a little bit below and then I'm just going to let that dry. Now the good thing about using tallow to seal your shells with not only is it readily available if you've killed a large game animal like a deer but the other good thing about it is that when that plug comes out and goes down your barrel it's going to be lubing your barrel at the same time where beeswax isn't going to do that because it's kind of sticky this stuff is going to be a lubricant to help preserve your barrel as well and maybe keep some of the fouling out. So we'll let this dry and then we'll shoot her and see how she does. Okay, you can see our tallow's dried now. Got a little dimple in the middle of it. That ain't gonna hurt nothing. I'll wipe the tallow off the outside of the case. We're gonna load this bad boy up and we'll shoot a can here from a short distance away, simulating small game and see how this load does. Okay guys, so here's our shotgun. Here's our round. We'll uh, get this excess tallow wiped off the outside of the case. Like I said, that's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to lubricate the chamber anyway. She slides right in there. It's a two and three quarter inch round. I got a three inch chamber. Modified choke. Let's see what we can do. Okay, guys. Here we go. Nothing to it. Popped right out. There's our shell. We'll pop that primer out and be ready to rock and roll again. Let's go look at that can. Okay, guys. Here's our can. Wasted. That was a rabbit. He'd be tore up. Probably more than I'd want him tore up. So I'd probably shoot that from further away. That was only probably 12 yards. You know, I'd probably want to shoot that at 20 yards. But that's what she does out of that shotgun shell. Full brass shells, like I said, Midway USA, two and three quarter inch brass. They'll come with a primer pocket set up for large pistol primers. All you have to do is drill them out to accept the 209 primer. You're ready to rock and roll. You got an indefinite supply of brass. Okay, guys, there we go. There's five shells ready to go in the shooting bag. Drilled out, primed, and loaded up probably in less than five or six minutes in camp here. Of course, you want to drill all those cases out ahead of time, obviously, and prime them up and have them ready or reloaded like I did just did and you're ready to rock and roll when you're ready to go hunting. All right, guys, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me for another video. Hope you enjoyed uh, this idea on the brass casings. Actually, one of my viewers uh, sent me a little message about those brass casings, and I looked them up on the Internet and found them at Midway USA. Ordered them last week, got them in last night. Couldn't wait to get out here and try them and show them to you guys. I think that those things, you know, are basically a revolution in the things that we've been doing with the 21st Century Long Hunter series as far as reloading shells with black powder for the single shot H&R or New England Arms 12 gauge. So I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support and thank you very much.